So guys, we are back with the trial of ascension climbing floor 96 onwards. I have tried this floor before uh, in the afternoon and I failed it because the fire salamanders, um, they have this ability which can reduce your attack gauge. And once one of them gets off that ability, the others will follow and uh, we might not even get a turn in. Okay. So I'll try it with Darren this time round. Hopefully we have enough hit points and with the damage mitigation to unleash two cycles of Fire Dragon's abilities. That was what I was lacking in the first fight. Zaros died first before being able to unleash the next cycle of uh, Rain of Fire Fury Breath. The Light Oracle, I think. Um, she has a cleanse, AOE cleanse, which can damage us and remove our buffs. She also has, um, I think, a cleanse for her team as well, like remove harmful effects for the whole team. So that is a no-no, we need to make sure cooldown reduction lands on her. She also has, with that same ability, um, a heal which uh, lasts for 3 turns, heals by a small amount, 15% I believe. So the first stage is no problem for me. I'll, I'll show you guys why um, I lost the last time around. It's because uh, Ahman, who is being replaced by Darren now, lost his life or is taken out in this stage here. Um, the Light Serpents, um, hmm, they have a passive. If you attack them, they will gain a stack. Uh, with that stack comes a... Uh, extra damage, gives them extra damage to a maximum of 10 stacks and Fire Dragon's abilities uh, such as Rain of Fire gives them multiple stacks as you can see the first time around I just tried taking down one by one didn't work out because they didn't have enough damage to take me out even without those stacks so since then I've been trying to get lucky with the stun procs from Zyros and the Cases uh, and uh, just cross my fingers hopefully we don't lose anyone so that guy is plus 10 and he's down. This guy is plus 6. Darien is taken out, so unfortunate. If they focused on anyone else, I would probably be fine. Uh, let's just see how this goes. How many stuns we get? Two stuns. Good start. We do need more though. I keep putting the debuff on the Oracle. Okay, um, okay, we just one stun. See if we get any more. One more, nice. Freeze, nope. Nope, nope, nope. So I just need to make sure Zara survives just enough to unleash another chain of attacks. Put the debuff back on. You ain't escaping that girl. Um, just trying to keep the health low here so that Zaros's AoEs will be able to chunk them down. Nice. Some stuns as well. Can we do this? Can we do this? Come on. Freeze. Nope. No, 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 no. Nice. Nice. Wow, okay. Let's do it 4v5. Or was it 6? 4v, yeah, 4v5. Darren wasn't there. Wow, this stage, Zaros and Jameer. A few seasons ago, um, this stage was at an early floor. But uh, now it's floor 97. These guys will be really strong. Zyros has that cooldown reset, AoE, we cannot let him attack us with that, so we either have to stun him or unleash our own cooldown reset. And the problem is Jamir, third ability, Illusion of Time, is not affected by Fiery Breath. He will be able to use it and refresh the cooldowns of the monsters on his team, which means Zyros will be able to get all his cooldowns back. So we have to control them somehow, we have to put stuns or reduce their attack damage with Bernard's body slam there. Okay, so um, more salamanders. Keep seeing salamanders. They don't do too much damage. Keep them stun procs going. Took one out. Another stun. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, this should be wrapped up 
first stage should be reptile 97. Ah, more salamanders. Wow, okay. Um, I think the light one has a passive which prevents him from getting stunned by all sources. So he can be inflicted with other debuffs but not stunned. So better in mind if you try to stun him with an ability. Uh, so I'll be focusing down probably the dark salamanders because they will be focusing down my armor. Um, okay, holy armor passive. I think that's the one that prevents them from being stunned. Still alive, but uh, should go down soon. Nice. So I think they have high defense values, and once you break the defense, you're going to deal so much damage. Like, uh, Sigmar is just dealt 18,000 with a crit once the defense is broken. So here we go, we're going to meet Zaros and Jameer soon, yep. The wings overlap, uh, cooldown reset successful, but Illusion of Time will be coming, so I need to try to uh, reduce this attack, try to freeze, nope, no, can do, um, okay, we got some nice continuous damage ticks there, yes, done. Alright, so, uh, he just used Illusion of Time, his cooldown reset ability is up, let's try to put that attack damage reduction on him. He is slow though, that's one thing going for us. Nice, managed to do it. So we lost all our cooldowns. Wow, Jameer, you hit hard man, you hit hard. Let's take care of Zaros. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone, he's definitely gone. Your next Jameer, your brother is in the grave. Um, you'll follow him soon. My Zaros will not be accompanying you in the grave. Sadly, we have other work to do. Let's not get him a turn. Yep, keep them stuns going. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Flown in the eight. Wow, okay, 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 okay. I can see how this team works. Um, Water Phantom Teeth has third ability which carries two debuffs. First one is AoE defense break, the second one is reduction to attack gauge. This means his team will move quicker and then with Hua, okay, Hua uh, will reduce your attack gauge further making you unable to move completely if all of these abilities are centered on one target. Um, luckily for us we have two win units that will tank Hua's uh, basic attacks um, and we ha hopefully have uh, the cooldown reduction to deal with um, lures AOE defense break. Uh, we do have stuns as well, the despair procs. Don't think these guys are immune to stuns. We should do well here. So, Adela, the wind magical archer, we should be countering her with a KC shield. Reduces crit means she doesn't. Well, she got the crit there, but uh, her attack damage was reduced, so it's fine. It's fine guys, we'll build the health back up before the second stage. Nice, okay, it is, oh, the light, bounty hunter, he's, he's a funny fella. His third ability, I think, is a stun and a cooldown reduction, stun and cooldown reduction. Um, second ability has a potential to remove one beneficial effect, I think. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a really interesting unit with some nice debuffs on him. Stuns, nope, no stuns. Provoke, okay. Got the provoke. Um, hmm. Okay, all my cooldowns are up. This should be an easy fight. Cooldown reduction, stun as well, wonderful. Uh, I think he may have resisted uh, the Fury Breath there, I'm not too sure, but... Uh, nice, chunked his health down, nice, nice, nice. One Hua is stunned. Ooh, 
freeze all day baby all day oh my goodness he can't get a turn he can't get a turn he's gonna go down so both was have the uh debuffs on them cool 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 come on let's not lose anyone here uh oh there we go there we go nice 98 two more floors guys two more floors okay this looks tough this looks tough leo spectra and verdahill now wow this is a speed oriented team but with a leo okay so verdahill increases attack gauge and then leo nullifies our speed limit speed to 100 after his first turn so it all depends it is a battle of the uh attack gauge attack gauge fillings like uh, my Bernard um, or oh, they have Bernard here as well so Bernard against Verdehill once they get one um, attack attack by increase off the rest will follow because all of them will start increasing their attack gauges we might not get a turn again same principle as almost the same principle as the previous turn previous stage sorry previous floor Floor 98 with Hua and Duer. Okay, 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 okay. They're focusing down my Phoenix, which is not good. Body slam. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. One more hit. We will go down with one more hit. That is not good. Luckily, Batman to the rescue with a provoke. Good job, good job, my friend. And you get rid of this defense break on uh, Sigmaris. Get rid of it. Let him move. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, second stage. Um, hmm, vampires. The water one's really tanky, super tanky. And they will focus down Zaros and Siggy, so we might be in trouble here. Unless uh, we get some stuns. Okay, we're doing good so far. They are below half health. Nope, no stun there. Okay, see so shield doing work here. Uh oh, that's how much damage one hit does, so we need a few stuns here. Take him out, yep. Body slam, no. We need the attack gauge reduction as well. Cool, he's out, he's, not, he's gone, he's fine. And that other vampire is out as well. Just making sure, making sure he ticks out. Defense break. Provoke. Nice. Weaken. Oh no. Don't weaken me. Okay, boss stage. Shell wind. We need to unleash as much as we can before they start their crazy attack gate shenanigans. Okay, that's one. That's okay. The rest were stunned, so. I'm going to put debuffs on Leo and he's stunned. Okay, he's the only one who's stunned. Need to freeze somewhere. Yep, freeze. Okay, come on. I don't mind them focusing my supports. I just need my damage dealers to get their second round of AoEs off. Okay, Bernard is being focused next. That's all right. That's all right. One, no, two more turns. I need two more turns. No, don't attack my phoenix. Don't hit my phoenix. No. Okay. Nice. Aoes are coming back online. There you go. Bomb. Shabang. Kaboom. That's it, guys. That's it. That's all she wrote, and we managed to reach floor hundred. I see the sky now. I see the sky, guys. Okay, I'll be uh, tackling in a different video. Uh, 400. Okay, guys. See ya.